Welcome to TechPax, your partner in advanced research and development. In this video, we will be presenting the details about one of the most demanding research projects titled Bandwidth Forecasting System for Server Applications Using Arima and Facebook Prediction Models. This research project can be extended further to publish a research paper in a reputed journal or used for your PhD or MTech thesis. So, if you are a researcher, PhD, or MTech research scholar working on a similar research project and need expert guidance to handle the complexities of research in this field, you're in the right place. Watch this video till the end to gain valuable insights into the project's objectives, methodology, and results. We'll also provide a demo of the code in action, showcasing its key features and functionalities. So, let's begin. Our professional researcher will now take the lead and guide you through the details. Here we go. Hello friends, welcome to TechPax Researcher Innovation Services. Today I'm here to present you one of the application that is basically forecasting of the bandwidth for the server applications. So this is basically forecasting based models. So before starting the video, let's talk about that what we will cover into this video. In this video, initially we will talk about where these forecasting models can be used specifically for network based applications. Then we will discuss that what the code we have designed and how to execute it along with that whatever the software and hardware requirements for it along with the libraries requirements. Then we will discuss about that what is the current systems those are existing and what we have done additionally into it uh, as a proposed method. Finally, whatever the findings and outcomes will be there those will be discussed. So let's talk about the application areas for it. So uh, the bandwidth forecasting can help us in uh, handling the web traffic. For example, if someone is having their website where they are uh, selling their products or doing something like filling the form or something like that. So as per uh, the bandwidth requirement that when the traffic is higher or lower, they can manage the traffic and uh, can save the resources along with that network traffic analysis like uh, what kind of requirements are there in the market uh, which websites or server services are uh, more in demanding so there the network analysis can be done by using the bandwidth prediction in the future server management for example uh, by utilizing the resources uh, we can predict that which server is to be active and how it is to be managed and how much traffic will be there on that so that uh, the best resources can be uh, served to the users in order to avoid any of the issue. In cloud computing for the storage mobile application related services where the service providers uh, may know in advance that uh, how much cloud service uh, and cloud space will be required by the user, what kind of uh, requests we can get and uh, how much traffic can be there. So such kind of uh, application areas will be helpful by using the uh, domain in which we are working on. So it is related to the uh, forecasting one. So forecasting is basically the future prediction. So by seeing the trends in the past, you can predict that what will be the trend in the future. So uh, this is not restricted to only for the bandwidth prediction, even these models can be used in any of the prediction whether it is a for uh, weather forecasting or uh, it can be uh, the stock market related financial related so these models are beneficial in that also because uh, the data may vary but the application for forecasting will be uh, quite similar so now let's see uh, what exactly the code is and how to run it so the folder that we will get will be this uh, in which you will have the different data set with you and along with the uh, file. So the code that we have uh, developed is in uh, Python. So you need a Python software to execute this code. So Python software can be easily downloaded from the online. So you can download the Python from their python.org. So currently Python 3.12 uh, is there, uh, but I'm using 3.10. So uh, you can either use that or even go for the latest one also. Along with that, you must have the ID, Python ID. Uh, if the Python will be installed, you can get the inbuilt uh, ID that is IDLE, but uh, 
for more convenience and for more uh, easy users and uh, uh, help the other like visual studio pie charm atom thorny these can be used so here i am using the visual studio so you can directly download it from uh, uh, their official website so it is a microsoft product so let's see the further that how the code is to be executed you just need to open this code in the open uh, visual studio so open with visual studio code and the code will get opened make sure you need to explore the code and open the folder of the uh, code so i'm clicking on here explorer then open folder and going to that particular directory where the code was placed so you can see i'm getting uh, the files those were there in the data set so every file is over here so you can also uh, run the hole in the jupyter one uh, even on the google collab platform so currently we are using the visual code so these are few of the libraries those are required to run this code like pandas numpy this is for pmd arima so this this is the command to install the uh, packages like this is one of the command that pip install and here should be the package name so i just wrote the example for you guys so other than that uh, matplotlib sklearn and uh, one propet model and tabulate must be installed in your system so this is uh, the code interference uh, so to run all the code you can run the block wise code also by clicking on this play button or you can click on the run all button so that everything will be executed and you can just process it so let's talk about that what exactly the people are doing uh, and the other related information the data set that we are using into it basically uh, is related to the bandwidth prediction so this is the data set link so you can get it from the kaggle or can directly write on the uh, google also so i'm just clicking on the direct link so you can see the kaggle here is uh, the bandwidth prediction data set uh, in which you have the server flow prediction information so it is uh, having the training as well as the testing and the sample submissions also so uh, we are using the train.csv file it, it is a very small file and you can easily download it by uh, signing into the website so kaggle is one of the uh, place where you can get the data set from different domains so this data set we are using which is related to the server flow prediction so it is related to the information of that for the different uh, uh, servers what exactly the uh, load will be how many requests they are getting how much bandwidth requirement is there right so let's see that what kind of data set it is so this is the information of the data set that uh, the one of the column is time our id zones uh, server names bandwidth and the maximum users so these are the uh, information set so it is a huge in count in count it is around uh, 10, 48, 576 entries. So, so this data set we are using in our system. So uh, to review it that what exactly the people are doing. Currently most of the uh, forecasting models or other models are using the regression models as well as uh, they are not uh, uh, doing any of the calculations and other things in the model. They are directly applying the system. Even uh, many of the people are also doing the ARIMA models like auto regression that is uh, one of the regression models. So we are also using the auto regression along with that we are implementing the Facebook's Propet model to, add, uh, to forecast the future uh, uh, prediction for the requirement of the bank. So in this application what we are doing by using the ARIMA model uh, which is auto regression model uh, as well as the uh, Facebook's prediction model that is FB Propet you can read about it this is the model provided by the Facebook uh, Facebook Propet model so this is basically a forecasting model which is used currently by the facebook itself to predict the future things it is a time series database data so basically whatever the uh, application wherever you are applying it it should be the time series based information only uh, it is not uh, helpful in other uh, of the area so you can directly uh, install it on your system by in installing the package name propet p r o p h e t so uh, what we have done in this particularly we have designed the arima model and then the propet model in the main uh, what we are doing we are uh, download we are reading the train file and then on the basis of the, uh, the information we are getting the unique data for every server because the data set that we are having it is a kind of a pre-processing so uh, in which we are basically getting the different uh, server names and uh, accordingly we are uh, arranging their data as per the time so that uh, the future predictions can be made for individual server itself so 
in every uh, pre process after processing phase as per the hour wise we are uh, uh, representing it graphically so after running the code then uh, when the data is uh, uh, arranged in a proper way uh, we are sending the data to the profit as well as to the arima model then on that we have we are getting the forecasting outcomes from the user that for, for which uh, server we want to predict the future thing so on that we have it is predicting the future values and showing that what exactly the actual uh, data and which is the predicted outcomes of the future thing and on basis of different parameters we are evaluating the results so now let's run the code when i click on the run all it will start executing uh, initially it is installing PDM Arima if it is already installed uh, then it will show the requirement already satisfied as it is already installed on the system then it is loading the different uh, files those are required to execute the code so after the functions for both the uh, FB Propet, Facebook Propet and Arima models are processed you can see here the data has been pre-processed and it is asking for the which server name you want to work on so you can see in the down part uh, it is showing me the uh, few details of the data that uh, it has read and uh, arranged so these are the server's name on which you can work you can get any of the name from the uh, server zone for example i am taking the server zone 01336 i just want to enter it here and press enter when i press enter it will start processing it and will give you the results so here you can see this was the bandwidth hour wise which was there in the uh, data set and on that we have it is giving me the uh, future prediction values of the uh, output then uh, it is showing me that what exactly the bandwidth curve day wise the pattern of it uh, so as per the pattern is it showing me the entries day wise finally it is uh, showing me because we are using the Facebook uh, uh, Propet model. It is showing me different stats like you can see the trends, you can see the weekly ups and downs as per the day wise. So it is day wise uh, requirements of the bandwidth. This is on the daily basis of that uh, hourly based pattern that when it is high and when it is low. So you can see as the value goes uh, to the end of the day it get uh, rise and in between the day it is basically the normal uh, uh, fluctuation among the requirement of the bandwidth so here you can see from the arima model the predicted output come and the original outcome has been shown graphically so original blue color is the original one and predicted one is the orange one so you can see this is the arima models outcomes and this is for the profit one so you can see for the profit uh, it is very much pretty much similar to the pattern that it is following for the uh, original data so now let's see that what exactly the variation among the arima and the profit forecasting so you can see there is a uh, variation among both the models profit is showing a good result as per the visuals but let's see parametrically wise so let's talk about which parameters we have used in the experimental part so that we can show which para uh, which model is better so we have evaluated the system in different parameters as you can see this is the predicted outcomes that we got from both the models in the future one so the parameters that we have evaluated are msc map ma r square and rmsc so these are the error parameters r square must be higher MA, RMSC and MSC must be lower one. So here you can see in the MSC case, profit uh, MSC is lower. That is the mean square error. That what exactly the predicted outcome is there and what is the actual one. We are finding the mean square error among that and we are getting like profit is having the less MSC. Similarly for the MAP it is also lower. Uh, MA is also lower. Uh, even the RMS is also lower R score is higher which should be higher so these are the parameters that we are evaluating to see the performance of the system and uh, to defend that profit model Facebook model is effective in comparison to the auto regression model existing right so uh, this is how uh, we can get the future predictions uh, which are related to the bandwidth requirements of the server so that uh, accordingly the management can be done and uh, can manage the traffic and other related uh, application areas where it is to be implemented so further modifications are still possible because they uh, it is more related to the analytical part uh, modifications in the increasing the uh, uh, performance of the arima or the proper model can be implemented proper model is basically for the facebook one for so uh, it is a challenge to improve its uh, 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 improve the accuracy of current model with the profit but still uh, there are certain options with us so that can be done in the future also so here the most mostly it is the uh, uh, 
analyze analysis of the proper and the arima models in uh, predicting the bandwidth forecasting so uh, i hope you people like this video for any of the information related to the research topic uh, you can contact us directly and can get the information for uh, still further modifications for the regression uh, model uh, modification is possible so thank you for watching the video thank you for watching the video thank you. thank you for watching this video we hope you found it informative and engaging for more information about this research project and to get our consultancy services, click the link in the description below. At TechPax, we offer comprehensive support for researchers, PhD, and MTech students in the fields of engineering and ICT. Our services include Selection of research topic Helping you choose the right topic tailored to your interests and the latest trends. Synopsis preparation Crafting a clear and concise synopsis with well-defined objectives. Coding assistance, providing expert help with writing and optimizing code in various tools and platforms. Research paper writing, assisting in drafting and editing research papers to meet the highest academic standards. Dissertation writing, offering complete support for your dissertation, ensuring consistency and quality. Plagiarism check and removal, ensuring your work is original and free from plagiarism with advanced detection tools. We also offer customization services to meet your specific project needs. Whether you require a modification of an existing project or a completely new application, our team of experts is here to help. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on cutting-edge research projects and expert advice. Thank you for choosing TechPacks. We look forward to collaborating with you on your research journey.